Hi, how are you today? I'm uh, so glad to be with you again this week. Uh, we're gonna study again a study of lucidity um, on the Shizen culture. As you know, the Shizen uh, developed many tools to understand the material and spiritual world around them. In this series, we have two different series. We have, um, we have the day-by-day -day practical approach and we have a more theoretical, uh, if this makes any sense, uh, and it's not because it's anachronically uh, not precise, um, but we could say more theoretical approach of, of the understanding of the world and which, which, was, which were called Nemboga, or studies of lucidity. Today we're going to talk about uh, Bio Gagwe. Bio Gagwe means decaying spiritual body. Uh, that is the illnesses that could affect to you on a spiritual level. They had many, many, many classifications on that. But we're going to talk we're going to talk today about one specific one about about uh, that was worked or was um, orchestrated around um, the five elements on that are quite common on on Asian cultures. Actually, the Shizen had six. They they used to have and to to work uh, with six elements, which were the common uh, on on the rest of the Asian. Uh, people, but uh, adding one more that we will see later. The point with this tool is that uh, they had they, their own diagnosis tools, they could, they could identify uh, illnesses on your spirit, on your behavior, on your character, and, uh, and they could, could, they could uh, cure them, but regardless of that, in which we are not going to enter, um, it's just the, the simple fact of, of having this tool, of having this understanding, makes you a lot, a lot easier to understand uh, what you're viewing, what you're listening, what you're watching, to understand it, to classify it, to give it a name, and, and, and to have the power to adopt uh, a, a perspective, a, a, a behavior on, on, on or as a response of, 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 where, of where you are being a spectator. Uh, with no more delay, we're going to start with the first uh, element, which is fire. Fire uh, is, is the violent, uh, aggressive behavior, the behavior which has a sleep conscience. Um, it's um, the lack of ponderation on, of, on your actions, and especially the lack of mercy. When, when a person is uh, affected by a fire malady, um, she or he behaves with no mercy. She or, or he doesn't want to, to, to forgive, doesn't want to, to, um, to forget, they just they are just a victim of an intense rage which is their their real obstacle for their lives because this rage takes control and uh, and doesn't allow them to to forgive to forget to to recover from from the situation it's very very you know it's like fire it's in this inner fire you can't control uh, in addition to fire, they had water. Water was the second element, and and the illnesses classified, the spiritual illnesses classified as water, were related to the fact that, uh, by analogy, uh, water is is the, the the element that gives life, that satisfies your your thirst, um, but at the same time, is the is the element that can rot everything, can make blockages in your life. They had this and had the, the image of the lake, which was a sad image for them because it was a blockage of, of water. It was uh, still water with no life. So, so they, they, they had an analogy with that, uh, 
which was, um, you know, which was related with the fact that the water can can sweep you alone, and and it's the, it's abundance, but on the on the reverse of abundance, uh, there is vice and there is mundane necessities. There is there is the the that your soul is falling uh, in the hands of mundane necessities, and you have control no more. Um, this is uh, this is actually the the, 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 the dark side of of, of, of abundance and and, uh, and and dust of water. The third one would be wine. As you can, as you can see, we are working everything uh, on analogy. This is an this is an people were ancient people, and uh, and uh, and even that it's quite surprising that many of their studies have big relations with what today is is quantics, uh, quantum physics. Um, even in that case, they main, their main thought and the, their main uh, perspective of life was uh, was uh, by analogy. So you can see that we are establishing analogy of the of with the characteristics of this element and and the spiritual problems we are facing. Wind um, wind is instability, is change, it is change, but it's also instability. It's mental and sentimental instability. It's madness, it is violence, it is brutality. It, it takes yourself, it takes you out of yourself. It, it, it pushes and pulls you and, and, and takes you and brings you at, uh, at its will. Many people, when, especially um, the pupils, uh, when, we, when we are talking to them, and we talk about wind, they ask about the difference on violence because we, we, we've just said that wind is violence, is brutality, but fire is also violence. So they normally ask what is the difference between madness and, and, and rage. You know, um, it's just like psychos. Uh, wind is the thing that makes you do something and not even remember it and not even know what you're doing not even be conscious of 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 what you're doing or have any feeling about it with rage you are perfectly conscient you you have perfect conscience and you know what you're doing you want to do it you want to put your will on it you want to impose your will on the situation with intense ferocity so it, they are very, very, very different things, and uh, you have to remember how fire and wind behave, and you will understand it perfectly. Um, the fourth one would be Earth. Earth is a stability; it is results; it is the end of things, but it is as well the sinking sands. It is as well the lack of decision, the lack of action, the the confusion on 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 the situations that uh, if if you don't take action, you just sink and sink and sink and more and more, bit by bit, slowly, but you are sinking. This is the danger of of a uh, of a spiritual condition of earth, and it's very 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 dangerous because normally you are not conscious, you are not conscious of that, so you are not conscious, you are. You are just uh, following and uh, going ahead with everything, but you are not uh, realizing that you are sinking every every now and then, every little time. Earth is very, very, very dangerous condition. Good would be the fourth, the, the uh, fifth one. Good is the more personal side of, of things. Is the human um, uh, representation of things. Is um, it's a condition when the spirit, the soul, is rotten by ego, by vanity, by arrogance, by a desire of power, by um, the the necessity of taking advantage of situations. That even with good intentions, your actions are consciously or unconsciously leading to your self 
own self advantage. It's in buy, it's competition, it's you know all this human aggressivity, this ugly human aggressivity, and it's one of the most it's, it's one of the most interesting things and the one that probably more attracted me about um, to, to start studying Shizen uh, Bugay and Shizen uh, studies because um, to and I want to confess you this because um, all the um, the cultures I have studied before uh, were very much centered on the spiritual elevation of of personal spiritual elevation and of 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 the understanding of more elevated uh, aspects of life, but uh, this is a very, very, very common aspect of 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 people and of the world surrounding us. And and the Shizen, as a as a, a a group of people that were living in a very threatening situation, very threatening uh, environment. They couldn't just look all the way around and and ignore that that this is this is a part of of the universe we're living. It's not an elevated part. It's a uh, it's like uh, the um, the part of the city you don't want to go, but but uh, it's 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 there and, and, it, and, and it's better to to look at it. Uh, eye to eye and, and understand it and, and and to have control over it and it was was it was one of the most um, uh, interesting things in in Shizen culture finally i would like to talk to you about metal metal is the last of the six elements of the six elements uh, metal is is the shine is the um, uh, people suffering from this condition uh, normally have the reward of the pleasure. They have success. They they um, they enjoy a comfortable life, even rich life. But they they live in an illusion. They live in a inner hollowness. They um, they don't. They really don't know what's the essential point of their existence, and uh, they are in a kind of superficial uh, existence, and and uh, they are they are they are uh, swept uh, along by 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 the shine of, of things, and you know you've seen this ostentation, this flashiness that that some rappers have. You know, it's something similar to that. It's like the, the, the ostentation, the flashiness uh, that have that that some narcos have, and they they you know they they've been successful and and they do ostentation of that. So so, but many times uh, there is uh, many times in people suffering from this condition, they said the season, they said that that uh, this this is there is a, a inner void. That, that that makes them suffer. So, so it's quite uh, quite interesting point as well. You know, probably today's world is is, is a, a common suffering of metal and, and good condition. So, I, as always, I, I invite you to to put this into practice to see people surrounding you on television, on the internet, on. On, on the on your people that, that you normally relate to, and uh, and and start watching classifying and and being viewing things from from these five elements and understanding that um, that, that that they are they, they can be classified and with and it will give you a very interesting power over situations over over yourself and and to maybe to help them maybe not to let them harm you and and, and have a fuller life and more mature uh, perspective of, of things and and the, the universe so thank you so much for for watching again and uh, hope to have you with me next week
Thank you. Bye-bye.